Hey guys, Smooth Comics here. Back at another video. Sorry I haven't uploaded, had problems with my phone. Got a new phone now, everything's good. Today I want to talk about rating systems. It's super important why you should decide ahead of time what your rating is going to be. Like Switch Gen Ninja, I want to keep PG-13. I want to keep things PG so for all audiences and there's going to be certain moments where things get intense and i think pg-13 is probably the safest rating for everybody to get because it allows you to get the whole family in while also keeping things safe enough it allows you to keep it safe and get the whole family interested while also going just as intense as you need to be for certain scenes and it's important you decide what your rating for your show is going to be ahead of time. It's a key point in marketing. If you don't know uh, how intense a show is, it's going to be hard to market it. Look at th throughout our history, there's been movies that are marketed that has kind of been kid friendly. And then when they come out, they're super, super violent. It's way more violent than expected. And you could end up getting sued for that. Yeah, you could you could end up getting sued for that. You need to decide ahead of time what is this rating going to be. And when you when you decide what that rating is, you can market the film based around that. It makes everything so much easier. When you don't decide that ahead of time, you're 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 digging a hole for yourself. You're digging a hole for yourself. Switch Gender Ninja is gonna be PG-13. It's gonna be a mostly pretty much safe film. There's gonna be minimal swearing, minimal cursing until certain scenes are gonna get violent. And the reason why I keep like I want it like that so the whole family can enjoy. I want parents and adults to watch which gender ninja and all fall in love with it. And they're gonna be there's gonna be scenes that are very intense, but those those scenes are just to serve the story. It's just for the purpose of serving the story. It's just for the purpose of serving the story and all that. You need to decide ahead of time what your rating is going to be. Like, look at Star Wars Att Attack of the Clones, the second Star Wars uh, prequel. A lot, that film gets a lot of hate, but it handles the rating thing very well. You know why they attack those drones? Because they're not people. When you attack them, there's no... There's no blood splats. It's another thing about rating. How you handle gore is an important thing. Most of the enemies in Switch Gender Ninja are not people. Therefore, not a lot of gores. See this thing right here? He's a purple guy. He's like a bio droid thing. So when they kill him, not going to be much blood. It's not going to be that much blood spill. It's not going to be blood spilling. It's going to be these, this oil stuff coming out. That's safe for kids. But you don't want just that because there will be some human enemies that are going to get messed up but it's not going to be common you have to keep in mind the ratings when you come up with your product now, and just because you personally think something is okay doesn't necessarily mean that that higher ups and stuff will always agree with you So make sure you look up the rules when it comes to ratings and stuff. Tell me what you guys think below. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. Some stuff happened. Life happened. So I'm here now. That's what matters.
just decide your rating in the show. Switch Agenda Ninja is going to be pretty PG. Most of the there will be minimal cussing and stuff, but there will be certain scenes of violence. They're not going to be very common because the more violent you do, and here's the thing about cussing. South Park did a great episode about this. Uh, they had an episode where they said the S word over and over and over and over again. And the reason they got away with it is because they said it so many times that it lessened the value of the word. And that's why using swears as a rarity uh, often works. Because look at PG shows like Dragon Ball. In Dragon Ball, there's not that much cussing. They'll have some violent scenes, but there's not that much cussing. Vegeta swears more than anybody on that whole show. He cusses more than anybody else. And even then, it's not that bad. He says things like, damn, hell, bastard, and stuff like that. Because, you know, he's a soldier, and soldiers are known for cussing a lot. But, really, he's the main person doing it. And when Vegeta's not around, it's not that much swearing. You can play, I just finished playing Kakarot. Dragon Ball Kakarot, and he's the primary person cussing. Whenever you see Goku say, what the hell, I was like, what, did Goku just cuss? Goku really doesn't cuss that much. See, that's how you get away with things. Have one character dedicated to a certain thing, or dedicate things to certain areas. They do the same thing with Gore and stuff. Most of the enemies, and most of the enemies in this are not going to be human. I said it right now. Most of the enemies are not going to be human. Well, that's all I got for today. Like and subscribe. See you guys later.